What if you could share God's love with a single child? What is that opportunity worth? What if you could share God's love with two, five, ten, maybe even twenty children at a time? What if you could share God's love with thousands of boys and girls at the same time, regardless of where they are? In 1968, God gave the vision of touching the hearts and lives of thousands of boys and girls each week through radio and television to Mrs. Jean Donaldson. It was the greatest challenge I ever faced, she says of those days. But her life verse, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, kept her focused. As a testimony to God's faithfulness and Jean's perseverance, Today, the Adventure Pals Ministries touch the hearts and lives of boys and girls in 36 U.S. states and 18 other countries around the world. It is fitting that we honor her faithfulness to God's call and praise God for the blessing He has poured out upon Jean and the ministry of Adventure Pals, and for making the impossible a dynamic reality. Those first few programs were produced using borrowed equipment and many hours of research, writing, rehearsals, and of course, a lot of prayer. Since the vision to establish this media outreach to children came while she was CEF Director for Ocean County, the first program started out as the Good News Club of the Air. Much to her dismay, CEF did not share her enthusiasm for radio, but true to the vision God had given her, Jean gathered a group of faithful men and women and founded Christian Children's Associates, the parent organization for Adventure Club, which was later renamed as it is today, Adventure Pals. Hi pals, we're glad to see you again this week. In addition to hosting the weekly radio program for over 40 years, she also began ministering to children through cable television. Several awards displayed in the office attest to the quality of the presentation. The Bible tells us that we have to personally invite Jesus into our heart if we want to go to heaven someday and if we want to have our sins forgiven. She worked tirelessly to fulfill the mission that God had given her. And she marvelously surpassed the original vision for the ministry. Yet with all that, she still had time for a little clowning around. Rallies and road trips were frequent and for many years you could see the Adventure Pals van traveling throughout the country. In addition, there were trips to places like Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Jean's enthusiasm for reaching boys and girls was contagious. As a result, the ministry has been blessed with hundreds of volunteers over the years. But Miss Jean remained the driving force behind the organization. And it was not just Christian Children's Associates that benefited from her diligence. For many years, Jean was an influential member of the National Religious Broadcasters Association. In fact, she was the second woman ever to serve on the executive committee of this prestigious organization. For several years, she also served on the television committee of the NRB. As such, she helped shape the policy and practice of today's Christian radio and television. 
But true to her calling, throughout the years, the thing she loved the most was interacting with the children. Talking with them and reading their letters was the highlight of her day. As we say thank you to Miss Jean today, we would also like to say thank you to her family, especially to her husband Bob, who has supported her quietly behind the scenes all these years. Jean Donaldson has touched the lives of countless boys, girls, men and women over the years, simply because she was faithful to God's calling. And for that, we are grateful. Thank you, Miss Jean. We love you, Miss Jean. We love you, Miss Jean. We love you, Miss Jean.